All right, welcome back everybody. Justin here with DTT. And we are here today for a quick product highlight for you guys. We are going to be talking about this, which is the sound mitigation buffer from our good friends over at Armaspec. Uh, so this is, we're doing this video because uh, this is not a new product for us to carry, but this is the Gen 3 of this particular product. So we carried the previous generation of this, the earlier model, and they just launched this new gen, which is like fully overhauled, fully upgraded version uh, of what we were offering before. So we kind of wanted to do a fresh launch and kind of a fresh look over this product uh, just to show it off and explain what this thing's all about. If you don't know about it, if you've never seen it before, and maybe point out a few of the differences from the previous gen to this gen. So we actually had the privilege of having the guys from Armaspec uh, come out here to Utah and visit us, sit down with us, give us a rundown of their product line, and explain uh, some of the cool stuff about all of these things, including this sound mitigation buffer. So appreciate those guys, Alex and Todd over at Armaspec. They put so much like research and development into the products that they end up putting out and it's a really impressive thing to see the amount of uh, the amount of science, the amount of research that goes into everything that they put out, upgrades that they're providing for um, your ARs and a few other things too. So I sat down with them, asked them a few questions, and I'm just gonna go over some of the points that they shared with me about this product and about this setup. So like I said, this is the Gen 3 version of the SMB, the sound mitigation buffer. So the previous gen, um, if, if you know it, if you have it, uh, you know, actually came in three separate pieces. So there was a little bit of assembly required. And this one comes all as one piece, kind of self-contained, fully captured system. So that's really nice. So what this is, is a replacement for your buffer and your buffer spring. So we have a normal uh, buffer set up here. You got your buffer spring. We know about those. We've seen them a bunch of times. And then you have your normal AR-15 buffer. Uh, this is just a standard three ounce buffer. That's what that looks like. And that uh, slides into there. And then we know this goes into the buffer tube. And when the BCG comes back, it hits your buffer and that compresses the spring, goes you know to the back of the buffer tube and then that spring pushes the buffer forward, and that's what brings the BCG back forward, and that's what cycles the next round into your, uh, into your chamber when you're shooting. So that's your standard buffer system. Uh, most of us are probably familiar with that. And so this is the SMB. Uh, I think this is the actually the H2, so it's a little heavier than your standard uh, three ounce buffer, but uh, that's how that setup looks. So we have this, bumper at the back that's gonna sit right on the back of your buffer tube. And then we have the spring here, is obviously is a much smaller uh, in diameter spring than what we're working with in our standard buffer system. And then you have your buffer up here and that whole thing uh, just slides along that middle guide rod. Um, and that's, that's your buffer system. So, the first thing about this is that um, just overall, this is gonna be an upgraded buffer system. If you have a standard buffer system, um, it probably works fine. There may be no major issues to it, but if you're looking for um, maybe a little bit like a smoother pull, a smoother, quieter action, guys, we've all charged some pretty gritty actions out there, I'm sure before. You tend to feel that. Uh, with these, these springs, they kind of get in there and they, th there, there's room for it to move around a little and bounce around a little. And that, that can create a little bit of, little bit of grit to the, to the action and, and a little bit of noise as you, as you pull the charging handle or as a round is cycling. And so if you just want a smoother, quieter action, uh, the sound mitigation buffer is, is gonna get you there. Um, and this is, like I said about Armaspec, it's gonna be, a step up, you know, you can get a buffer spring and a buffer for pretty cheap. You can get into this for, for uh, you know, well under fifty dollars. Well under, you can probably get into this under thirty dollars, really, if you're if you're going super budget. 
And so uh, at that point, you know, we don't know exactly how many rounds um, you're going to get through before one of these things maybe starts to wear out and fail. Um, but from our spec, we're getting super high quality materials, super tight tolerances in the machining and a product that is going to last a really long time um, under a lot of work and under a lot of pressure. We want to see that when we're putting it in our firearm. So even taking out some of the features that are specific to the SMB and why it was created, this is going to be an upgrade to your buffer system. You're going to have a nicer, smoother buffer system than just your standard buffer and standard spring, especially if you're going with like a really basic budget option on those uh, from the get-go. The next thing uh, that, well, kind of the, the whole purpose of this being created in the first place is that as it's called the sound mitigation buffer, this was made to create a quieter action. Uh, so with a normal buffer spring, this obviously like the diameter of this larger spring, it's gonna fill the whole, it's gonna fill the whole diameter of the buffer tube. And there's a lot of slide uh, on the spring up against the inside of the buffer tube. And then there's also just a lot of warp and wiggle in this spring. And if you're getting parts from a bunch of different places, you know, every spring isn't gonna be perfectly in spec with every buffer tube. It's not gonna be like the perfect fit. It's gonna create a little bit of room for just the smallest amount of movement. Um, and so when that happens, it can create a lot of sound in there with this wearing up against the inside of the buffer tube, kind of wiggling around a little bit, bouncing back and forth. And uh, you also lose a lot of efficiency uh, when that's happening. So uh, the SMB was really created to keep things on a perfectly linear axis. Everything moves perfectly linear along that guide rod and you don't have that spring that is mashed right up against the inside of the buffer tube. And using that, using that system uh, creates a lot less sound coming from your action and coming from your buffer system and a whole lot more efficiency, energy efficiency on the movement of the BCG. So just talking about creating a smoother action, a more efficient action as you're trying to get your, your AR like super well tuned, this is gonna put you in a better place you're getting less wear on the inside of your buffer tube. There's not nearly as much like warp and wiggle in the movement that can potentially be going on in the buffer tube while you're firing and while your AR is cycling and while that, that buffer is just like slamming back and forth super hard. It's a really aggressive movement and it's all happening in that confined space. And so as axial and straight and efficient as we can get that, like the, the more efficient movement we're gonna have for the BCG which is great because that's what makes your weapon cycle. So it's a really cool system and it's a really nice system and it works uh, really, really well. It creates a more pleasant shooting experience for the operator of the firearm. And what else is really nice about it is this is a fully captured, no assembly required drop-in system. So all you gotta do is take your previous standard buffer system out and then this is gonna pretty much just slide right into the buffer tube. And once this is in there, you don't even need to have your, uh, your buffer retainer pin because this is going to, this is like the exact length of the buffer tube. Your BCG is gonna sit right up against that when you close the AR. And uh, you don't even necessarily need to keep that little uh, retainer pin in there that is, can, can kind of be annoying sometimes if you're taking your, taking your buffer system out, kind of getting in the way, taking it out, putting it back in. It's such a nice, super clean fit in the, in the buffer tube and matching up with the BCG uh, just creates a much quieter cycle in the buffer tube. Some of you guys maybe know what I'm talking about. Some of you guys maybe don't, but in shooting an AR, obviously shooting an AR is loud. When you fire a gun, it's loud. Even when you're shooting suppressed, there's a lot of noise, um, but uh, some of you guys know, like I said, what I'm talking about when, when that buffer comes back and compresses that spring and it all slides up against the, the inside of the buffer tube and there really is, uh, there's kind of a loud twang that happens and kind of a loud ring that happens in the buffer tube from that going on and it can be unpleasant. This is going to reduce some of that noise that's, that's going on in that area 
Uh, if you're shooting suppressed, if you're hunting, you want to keep all the noise to a minimum. Um, it's going to be super helpful for something like that. And then also, like I said, it just creates a more pleasant shooting experience to kind of eliminate some of that, some of that twang and some of that wiggle that's going on inside the buffer tube. So it's a really cool product. It works really well. It's going to make your gun feel a little smoother. It's going to keep things super efficient. It's going to last a long time. And look, if you're, if you're looking to upgrade your buffer system, even if you're like, I want to stick with this same setup, I just want to get a nicer version of each of these, um, you're going to probably end up spending upwards of 50, 60 bucks to get an upgraded buffer spring, an upgraded buffer. Uh, and these things come in at right around 50 bucks. So really for pretty much the same price or just a little bit more than you would spend on just upgrading your buffer, uh, you're getting this upgraded system that's fully captured and drop in easy install, toolless install. So uh, that's it guys. They make these in pretty much all of the, the buffer options. Uh, you're gonna find the standard, just three ounce AR-15 buffer, um, H, H2. They do uh, one that's specific for nine mil. They do one for uh, your AR-10, LR-308 builds. So whatever you're building, uh, they got an option. This is like the brand new gen, comes in new packaging. Everything feels nicer, everything looks nicer. And so, yeah, if you guys are interested, you wanna learn more as usual, head down to the link in the caption below. We're gonna have it there uh, just as the product and uh, in some combos, because you know we like to do that to keep things as affordable as possible for you guys. And that is, I think, it for today, guys. Thank you so, so much for joining in, and we will see you on the next one.